Let's consider then, with inclusive reckoning off the table, how the math works. Herod's appointed in 39 BC. He conquers Jerusalem in 36. He reigns for 37 years from his appointment by Rome, 34 years from his conquest of Jerusalem. Well, if 39 BC is the accession year, then 38 BC is one year, year one, 37 BC is year two, and so on, that would make 2 BC his 37th year. Same thing works from the conquest of Jerusalem, counting from 36, that would make 36 the accession year, year one begins New Year's of 35, year 2, 34, and so on, that would make year 34, 2 BC. So that would mean that Herod is in his 37th year from his appointment by Rome, and his 34th year from his conquest of Jerusalem in 2 BC. Well, that doesn't quite get us to these eclipses. What's going on there? Well, keep in mind, Josephus doesn't say Herod died in the 37th year of his reign. It says he reigned 37 years. Some interpret that to mean he dies in his 37th year, and some have said, no, that means he's completed 37 years, and he's in his 38th. That, it will turn out, will keep both of these eclipses on the table because we're reckoning his reign from New Year's. Well, when is New Year's? We said it's not January. It's either Nisan or Tishri. In either case, both of these eclipses are possible. Let's consider each in turn. If Herod's reign is reckoned from the first of Nisan in the spring, then that would make 39 BC until the first of Nisan in 38, the accession year. Then in the spring of 38, we begin year one, which goes until the spring of 37. Year two goes from the spring of 37 to the spring of 36, and so on. Year 37 goes from the spring of 2 BC to the spring of 1 BC. That would mean that this eclipse would be consistent with Herod dying in the 37th year of his reign, and this eclipse would be consistent with Herod dying after having reigned 37 years in his 38th year. You get the same thing with Tishri, just move everything six months. In that case, his 37th year went from the fall of 2 BC to the fall of 1 BC. Same exact story for both of these eclipses. If Herod dies in the 37th year of his reign, this is our eclipse. If Herod dies after having reigned 37 years and he's in his 38th year, this is our eclipse. Both of them are consistent with the evidence from Josephus. Once we allow, yes, he made a mistake with his math, but bring in Appian, bring in Dio Cassius, get rid of the inclusive reckoning, and the math adds up just fine. Herod dies within a few weeks or months of one of these eclipses, allowing enough time before Passover for everything recorded by Josephus to have taken place. There's no problem making the math work once inclusive reckoning is taken off the table.